Hi friends, this is Sai. Welcome to Sai Tech Logic YouTube channel. In this video, we'll discuss how to configure a secure RDP using a Windows Bastion host. So let us start the lab now. This is the fourth lab in Challenge GCP architecture. So this is the lab. I have already discussed about all, all the three labs in my channel. You can see here. So this is the fourth lab. We're going to discuss now. Let us start the lab. Yeah, this is the console. Okay, first let us see the scenario. What is the scenario here? So this is our challenge. Deploy a secure Windows machine that is not configured for external communication inside a new VPC subnet. Then deploy Microsoft IIS server on the secure machine. So yeah, I have designed this architecture for this lab so it will be easy to understand so first we have to create a default we, we have we already have a default vpc with the subnet default now we have to create new vpc with the subnet okay and we'll configure two firewall rules here and we'll create two virtual missions vm bastion host and vm secure host then we'll configure two interfaces for this and two interfaces for this okay then we'll uh, log in into this mission with the external IP provided and we'll log, we'll log into the internal IP of this mission using RDP then we'll configure IIS server so this is the complete lab if you see here deploy secure windows machine that is not configured for external communication so this is our IIS server and these are our, uh, we, here we have config uh, this we have configured in our VM secure host and it should not have external communication inside new VPC okay a new VPC it should not have any external communication okay for that we use Bastion host Bastion host is something kind of uh, our jump server we call it in on-prem here we call it a uh, jump host or a jump box or Bastion host so it will be exposed to internet from this we will be con connecting to our internal servers or internal hosts from this Bastion, ho Bastion host server okay so one from any any traffic coming from external network will be connecting to this from this uh, will be accessing all the internal servers so that is the purpose of this bastion host now let us start the lab we can see the steps here given so we ignore a new non-default vpc with this has been has to be created with the subnet and we have we have to allow rdp port for that and similarly we have to create two instances uh, one is vm secure host and vm bastion host with the firewall rule Okay, then we have to install IS server in that. Okay, then we have to install IS web server software in that. So that is the setup here. So let us start the lab now. So first let us create the VPC. Go to networking in network VPC networks. create VPC network give it as new VPC then give the subnet sorry Here we should give subnet name here we should give region here we should we should give range done now you're ready to launch now we have created a new vpc with the subnet now we'll create two firewall policies for this as well as this for both the VPCs okay now let us create firewall rules I will name it as firewall rule for default VPC this is our default network 
then we have to specify ta target tags i'll mention it as rdp then range any range coming from any ip then we have to specify the ports which are to be accepted so for rdp port is double three eight nine i'll create with that i've created the rule for a default vpc now let me create it for new vpc firewall rule for new vpc what's our network here new vpc network we have to specify the tag here rdp1 i'm giving it as now let us specify the port number and let us create it yeah we have to give range here and we can create what is our next step new vpc we have created with subnet with firewall port with firewall rule similarly here also we have created firewall rule now let us create two instances vm secure host and vm bastion host with two interfaces this is vm first we'll start with vm secure host then we'll proceed to vm bastion host so we have to deploy windows 2016 server instance and you should name it as this and it should have two interfaces the first network interface will be internal only that means it, it will not have any public ip and it will be connecting it to new vpc right the first one will be connecting it to new vpc and the second network if you see network interface it will be internal only and it will be connecting it to default vpc so it will be connecting it to default vpc so we'll configure both interfaces with this instance okay let us create the instance instance name is vm secure host os is windows server 2016 okay then we have to configure two interfaces if you go here you can see two network interfaces first network interface will be connected to new vpc subnet and second will be connected to default vpc and both has internal only it means there is no public ip okay before that we have to give firewall rules tags then we have to configure two interfaces first interface pointing to new vpc with no public ip second interface pointing to default vpc with no public ip done so we have configured interfaces firewall rule and we have selected the os then region name that's it let us create it now let us go to this side so yeah now we have done with this now we have to do v, now we have to create vm bastion host instance okay the interface one pointing to new vpc with an external ip and second interface pointing to default vpc with no external ip okay as it mentioned here you can see here two interfaces the first interface to connect to new vpc with an external ip and the second end interface is connecting to default vpc with internal only with no public ip okay let us configure it select the os as windows server 16 Go to networking before that 
mention your firewall policies to allow RDP port. The first interface is pointing to new VPC with an external IP. Okay. And the second interface is pointing to default VPC without external IP. That is what given here. You can see the first interface with external IP and second interface to default VPC only internal only. Okay. This is jump box. These are best and host right so we are done with it let us create it what's your next step we are done with uh, this part and now what we'll do is that we will rdp to this instance okay before that we have to reset password for this uh, windows instance and for this windows instance once we reset the password for both the instance then we'll log into this instance from this instance we are logging we are able to log into uh, login into this instance because we have an external IP here we don't have an external IP once we log in into this instance using this uh, instance private IP we'll do a RDP now we'll be in this instance in this instance we'll install a we'll configure IS server okay so then our lab will be complete now let us go to cloud shell and reset the password Okay, let us re reset the password. So let me wait for a few seconds. We'll try again. can see here now the username and password are created now let me log in into RDP okay give the IP here external IP of your VM bastion host which is this connect So let me give the password and username as well. Now I am into the instance. Now let me reset the password for secure host as well. For that, change the instance name here. And let me give you a different username as well. Now you have username and password. Now let me copy the private IP, internal IP. Okay. Now let me log in into RTP here. Let me come to this internal IP here. 
let me give username and password username is admin password is this is the password right yes Now we are logged in. Now we have to create IS server, right? It will take few seconds. Yeah, now we are in. Now let us go to server manager and deploy IS server, right? If you, if you see here, we have created new VPC with subnet and we have configured firewall rules the both the VPCs then we have launched two instances with two interfaces pointing to both the VPCs similarly with similarly this instance also pointing to both the VPCs but this has an external IP because this is a bastion host every uh, any traffic coming from outside will be connected to this if you want to access an internal servers will be first connected to this from here will be connected to internal servers okay now after that once we do once we are once we do RDP to this and from here we are accessing this internal server now we have to deploy IS server in it this is the final task pending for us okay go to add roles and features next 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 look for IS server here this is our IS server add features next add these features you can give security as well here Next, install. Now your IS server will be installed. It will take one or two minutes time. <clears throat> By the time we'll go into the lab and check how many of our tasks, tasks are completed. If you see, this is completed. Creating VPC and subnet and giving firewall rule. And then we are creating two instances, Baston as well as secure host. Then if you see, we are pending with VM secure host running Microsoft IS web server software. Okay. Now currently we are in this step. Let the IS server install. It will take a few minutes time. Now this is completed. Let us close it. You can see here our server is there installed. Now let us check whether it is up and running or not. going to browser check for localhost you can see here our server is up and running so this is our lab we'll check whether all the steps has been completed or not you can see all the steps has been completed and we have completed the lab okay we can end the lab now okay thanks for watching if you have any doubts comment below please do like share and subscribe